Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another day of the video Darren, how's it going today? Today we are running relatively late by which I mean I'm not going to be early, I'm probably going to be on time uh, but it's a lab as well so it doesn't particularly matter, it's not like a lecture or anything um, so that's alright, the reason is this morning I actually got up on time like really well, I'm waking up good this, these mornings for some reason and I'm just kind of lying in bed with my eyes open chilling, waiting for my other alarms to go off <laughs> um, but the reason, main reason is my phone has updated to Android 4.3, um, which is, means nothing, basically. It absolutely means jackal, because the main feature of Android 4.3, apart from like all of the little things, is that you can have like lock screen widgets, which I really wanted, because I want to go to start using Google Hangouts instead of the default Samsung app, because it's shit. Um, <laughs> but I can't do that, because to activate the widgets on Samsung devices, you have to disable your security, so you can't have pin locks, you can't have pattern locks or anything like that. How retarded is that? That's so stupid. So, I was trying to find a way around that basically for the past however long, half an hour or so. All I can say is I cannot wait to upgrade to the um, Nexus 5 or Nexus 6, depending on when my contract's up. Hopefully the Nexus 6, if it's not fucking huge. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, cannot wait. Anyway. Jesus, Samsung. And all, all that's basically happened is it's got uglier, because TouchWiz is uglier now. God damn. Um, <laughs> but apart from that, we've had everyone but one piece of group coursework handed in, which is good. Um, however, the one that was handed in last night is a bit bad. Well, it's not bad, it's just not half as full as it should be. So I've been editing that, I've been... Uh, it's only a presentation, so it's not that hard to edit. Um, I've been changing the colour scheme around because it just looks stock. So I've changed it to match the logos and stuff. I've done X, Y and Z, added a couple of points here and there. And I'm going to a pattern analysis lab now, and then I've got an hour before a coursework meeting, by which point I want to have it like fully changed to how I want it. I'll walk in and be like, hey guys, I made a few alterations, and it's completely different. <laughs> but the presentation does legitimately look like a four-year-old has done it. Um, and it would literally take less than five minutes to finish, so I don't feel too guilty about it. But yeah, so we've literally got just pan analysis today. We've got pan analysis, hour gap, coursework meeting, two hour gap, pan analysis. So we're also going to be bossing out a load of notes and a load of pan analysis. Yeah, boys, we're going to be getting our Gaussian mixture model completely 100% working by the end of the day, and I don't give a shit. We've had enough fun recently get back on it. It's two weeks left, Jamster. You can do it. You know what? It's got to be said. I've got a bad feeling about today. And I don't know why. Hmm. Something bad's going to happen today. I don't know what. I love taking the lift out of this building. It's lazy as hell. But it's the tallest building we have on campus. Yeah, it is. The fifth floor. <laughs> it's the only one with lifts in this building. Right then, so that was math, uh, pro, uh, pan analysis. I've decided it's probably best instead of like trying to hop, instead of essentially trying to hodgepodge the code that I've already written that's broken into working because it's just starting to get. I just I have no idea what it's even doing now. I'm rebuilding it from scratch in an attempt to to make sense of it all. Um, so we'll see how well that goes. Otherwise, no. <laughs> otherwise, uh, I've just been in pattern analysis um, in Ebb fixing the presentation that someone else did. Well, just changing the making it more detailed, changing the color scheme a bit, um, just changing the overall format of it as well a bit. So basically, nearly everything. But shush. Um, <laughs> otherwise, I'm now heading off to go and have the meeting. Although some people are going to be late. Um, I can see the lecturer going. He hasn't been in like. The tutors have been going to this, but we'll see. Um, and then we're going to be doing more pattern analysis later, so fun, fun, fun. And we're heading off back. The weather today is rather miserable, but otherwise it's not been too bad. The group coursework meeting wasn't as bad as I expected. Everyone had submitted some work by the time. Um, Jack still has quite a bit to do. Uh, he's got to do, well, 
it's not really, but he's got to do like a couple of things like a good four or five times, like just mediocre, not mediocre, <sighs> that word, <laughs> uh, where it's just it's boring stuff over and over again. So it's not too hard. Like I say, someone else uh, has come through with quite a lot of good um, testing and stuff, and he's going to talk about that in the presentation, which is good. Um, Max has got a little bit more to do. Uh, they found a couple of bugs in his code, which he's going to try and quickly fix for us, um, which is good. He's going to change the UI a little bit as well. Um, so apart from any changes that he makes that might have to then affect all of the things I've done, so say like uh, if he changes something and I've got to then twist that into my empirical evaluation again uh, or stuff like that then apart from stuff like that I should be done um, I've got to do quite a bit of formatting of the report obviously the presentation comes first um, I've got to briefly check over the presentation of the report the presentation of the presentation uh, make sure I know my bits so I can talk about it and be selling it essentially uh, and then rehearse everything that I've written so that when they ask us questions about stuff, I can spin the right lies. Not lies, half-truths. Uh, <laughs> so people have said to me on numerous occasions that I should just be a spin doctor because I just have an uncanny ability to just take a question, just spin it on its head. Take something we've written like half a year ago <laughs> in a document somewhere, half a year ago, um, someone asked me, uh, look at the program, the keys are in that fan, that's a bit weird. Um, <sighs> yeah, I have this amazing ability to go back to a document I wrote, well, no, a document I formatted that someone else wrote, like this little section, like they wrote it half a year ago now. I looked at the system, realised the system was wrong, and in a split second came up with a reason why that we made a change, why it doesn't, why this contradiction exists, uh, why the new system is correct and why we had to change the old thing. That's, in, that's an uncanny ability. And it's been taught, several people have said I should just do it, just go into like politics or something and just spin things for a living. And I fucking love that. It'd be great. <laughs> Sean said it, uh, a couple of people in group courseworks have said it. Because uh, it normally comes to the point where at the end, like especially at the end of semester now, everyone's losing energy and things get rushed. And at that point, you then need to be able to spin things look like it's more right than it necessarily is it is right but just back it up more then give it more evidence than you've actually got it's not a bad thing i'm not breaking rules it is good and it's after dinner and we're just about to sit down to doing some work um after that uh there's meetings and stuff i wrote up some lecture notes and the like and um wrote up some lecture notes and stuff and then we had a pattern analysis lecture where I was typing up more lecture notes um, and paying attention to some probability problems and stuff, which is just like basic calculate the probability of this scenario and this scenario of this scenario and this scenario, which is quite simple to do, which is good stuff. Um, it's good that it's quite simple to do because it means I've learned something. I then headed home, came here, had a cup of tea, sat down, I sorted out a video and I've been writing up lecture notes while I've been cooking. I've had a nice lazy dinner of like uh, chicken, southern fried chicken and chips and beans, which is nice and lazy, it means you've got like 40 minutes while it's in the oven to do stuff. So I was typing up notes and stuff while I was doing that. Um, and I'm now fighting the sense of, you know when you wake up, I said this this morning, didn't I? Like, and you just feel like it's going to be a bad day. I'm now fighting that, like nothing's been bad, but I'm now fighting that in order, it's, it's making me not want to do work, it makes me want to like play a game to like boost mode, I don't know, to be like a power break or something, but I've got no reason to do that, so I'm coding. I'm uh, I'm rewriting my pattern analysis. Oh, you've got a battery. I'm converting it. This is what I've already written, but I don't quite understand it. So I'm putting it into here, making it more efficient, making it better. Trying to understand each and every single line that goes into it uh, by commenting everything, making sure I know it, how it works and all that kind of crap. Um, so that's my plan now. Also, I apologise, but these glasses are not anti-reflective, are they? They lied to me. They lied to me. Apparently that's more to do with like in the lens itself, lovely was saying. What a noob. Yeah, so here's what that's what I'm doing now is I'm just copying code across, listening to Muse because I've got a Muse addiction recently. Yeah, boys. Right then, you are fully charged, and I'm just about to clamber into bed actually, <laughs> ironically. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be watching Hannibal while I type up some lecture notes and stuff. I've decided to email somebody to ask for help on this pattern. I just don't understand. 
I don't understand. Like, I know all the theory. This is why I'm so confused. Because I get the theory behind it, right? But then it's actually converting a real life thing into theory blows my mind. Because we've got to take an image, right? We can uh, just a binary image of just black and it's just black and white. So it takes an image. This code then generates it draws an outline around it. It'll then figure out the angles, um, like the angle it has to change, um, and it'll be between one and eight. So go one. So say like around a clock, like one. Zero, one, two, three, duh. Um, in fact, there's no zero, it's just one. Because uh, you can't just carry on straight, that's just silly. It does that, it then gets rid of all of the noise values, so all the times where it's just fluctuating, not doing anything. Um, it'll then do all of that crap. That will be then, and that's then an information thing, right, that we can use to recognise different shapes and stuff like that. So, what I then need to do is do that 50 times and then use a list of all of them to create two different means what? to make a two-dimensional um, Gaussian mixture model I, then, I just don't understand, I just don't understand I understand the specifics of, like the, the, the actual theory I get I get that shit, <laughs> that's not hard like the actual theory is behind why it works but actually getting it to work is next to impossible uh, so stressing me out I've decided to call it quits and I've finally found uh, how to watch Hannibal online so I'm going to do that I'm still waiting for my washing to finish which is going to be done in a couple of bit in a bit um, otherwise our uh, group's application is uh, currently on my phone that's pretty cool isn't it it's pretty goddamn cool I'm pretty happy with that so uh it's actually well cool, as it happens. Yeah, it's only a little simple little thing, but that's where all the best magic happens. Everyone else went for really big complicated systems for no apparent reason, because you could just do a nice simple system that uses an interesting technology and you win at life, basically. Uh, because the programming is nice and simple, all the evaluations is nice and simple, and we are henceforth Top of the class, <laughs> group coursework wise. We've got all the highest marks and all of the deliverables thus far. Not to blow my own trumpet or anything, but it's a group effort, so how can I blow my own trumpet? So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna watch this while I wait for my washing to finish. They'll literally finish about the same time, even after talking to you now. Um, and I'm gonna type up some lecture notes over there while watching it. And yeah, then I'm gonna put it all up. Now I'm gonna go to bed. So I think I'm gonna call it here for the night, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you very much for watching today. It's been fun, as per. Tomorrow we're in campus. Uh, I normally don't go in on a Wednesday, but we're actually in. Got a programming lecture, um, an hour gap, and then a lecture about placements and stuff where we're going to find out all the specifics of all the things we need to do while we're on our placement and stuff. So it'll be like, oh, here's the forms you've got to give your employers. Here's this, 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 here's that, that, that. So it should be good. Should learn about taxes and shit. I don't know. Fuck knows. It's probably going to be worthless hour ever, but you never know. So yeah, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a it's been a joy talking to you all. Tomorrow we should hopefully be fully caught up on notes um, because we should be able to do programming while I'm on campus and slash all slash in the placement. Now, I'm not going to sit there for an hour and just allow this silly um, lecture to waste my time. Uh, so I'm going to be using that time more intelligently. Um, and then what we'll be doing, we'll be rehearsing for the uh, presentation, making sure I'm spick spot span on all of the documentation we've ever produced so that I can potentially deflend, deflect, eh, defend ourselves from any questions that may be coming our way in the presentation, uh, figuring out exactly what I need to be saying in the presentation for all my different things, um, and nailing the pattern analysis. Hopefully if Nick can get back to me in time, who's the person I'm going to be emailing? You never know. But yeah, that's it really. Work's dying down now. Once, per, once group coursework's out of the way, it's literally only pattern analysis and revision to go. Which means I can do more cool, fun stuff, like go out cycling, which I really want to go and do. I brought the freaking bike down with me and <laughs> never used it. Um, but yeah, so stuff like that really. I just really want to do, make a video, plan videos, shit, I need to make two videos. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> so much to do. Never mind. I was about to say, you know, I've got anything to do. But we've actually got loads to do. 
um, of course what to do over Easter and potentially uh, talking about that system I was talking about yesterday but yeah I'm gonna get going thanks for watching guys I'll catch you later